Welcome, welcome. Let's get this morning started by taking some nice deep breaths, placing one hand on the belly, one hand over the heart, over the chest, and just allowing yourself to arrive here by taking some nice deep breaths, feeling that breath rising and falling within your body. Beginning to let that tongue come away from the top of the mouth, the jaw separates slightly. Imagining sitting up through the crown of your head so your chin tucks slightly and the shoulders relax down the spine. Maybe you feel that belly button gently hug in towards the low back just a little more. You can always sit on blocks and have your hips up above your knees if that feels a little better on your body. Just starting to settle in, to notice what's going on in your body, to notice how much you end up thinking about other things. And don't get frustrated or judgmental about it. Just come back to the breath. It's as simple as that. With our next exhale, gently dropping the head towards the chest, the head to the heart. You can bring your hands to your knees if that feels better. And just gently rocking that chin side to side. Taking a nice deep inhale here. And with the exhale, rolling right ear to right shoulder. Keeping that jaw relaxed. Letting it, that full exhale go. Taking a full inhale. And when the next exhale comes, just slowly rolling chin across the collarbone. Left ear to left shoulder, letting the exhale come out completely before pausing for that inhale. And with the exhale, rolling back across. So just moving with your own breath here for a few moments. Really letting the get breath guide you. And if at any point along the way you feel a point that you might want to stop on, It's not painful or straining, but feels like it needs an extra stretch. Feel free to just stop there for an extra 30 seconds and give that muscle an opportunity to relax. Exhaling across the chest each time. And the next time you find yourself in center, just pausing there. Taking a nice deep inhale, gently raising the arms up overhead, the gaze follows, shoulders sink into their sockets and the heart raises. Exhaling, slowly lowering the arms, lowering the chin to chest. Let's slowly increase this speed just a little bit. Arms come up, belly button hugs into the low back, supporting the spine and this lift. 
and exhaling. One more nice big inhale up, lifting the gaze to look at the thumbs. Maybe, just maybe, you pull those shoulders down and lift the heart back, just a little baby back bend. Exhale, sitting up nice and tall. Let's bring that right arm down. Fingers spread nice and wide, pressing into the ground, bending into the elbow, lifting up and over with that left arm. Really feeling that side body rib stretch here. And as you're reaching over with this arm, make sure that you have the shoulder pulled into the socket. Maybe, just maybe, you can shine that heart up towards the ceiling a little more, but if that's not comfortable, feel free to just have the gaze down towards the shoulder. You just shouldn't be hunching. Let that shoulder pull back and the heart shine forward at the very least. Taking a nice deep inhale here. On the exhale, slowly releasing, bringing the arms up, taking another inhale midway. And with the exhale, lowering that left hand, fingers spread nice and wide, pressing into the hand, the elbow reaching up and over. Nice, long side body stretch on the opposite side. Letting that jaw relax still. On an inhale, maybe coming out of the stretch ever so slightly. And with the exhale, really easing into it a little more. You're pressing back gently with your hand so that you can stay stable on both sit bones. And that shoulder is in its socket. It's not leaning as far forward as you can. You're reaching, but you're maintaining your strength. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, coming up. Inhale to reach up. And exhale, bringing those arms down. And we'll just slowly start to roll our shoulders backwards. And as you're rolling your shoulders backwards, just jutting out slightly with the ribs at the same time. So it's kind of just like pressing out rolling the shoulder back, pressing out, rolling the shoulder back. And then maybe we're moving slowly, remember, starting very slow. You can incorporate the neck if that feels good. So gently rolling the neck to the opposite side. And we're rolling the neck forward. And not back to protect it. So just gently find the movement, see what feels good for your body. We're waking up the spine. Ooh. Breathing with it. And slowly, let's just reverse that roll. So now we're gonna roll the shoulders forward. This might feel a little more comfortable. It tends to be a little bit more what we're used to. We'll kind of tone down with the rib rolls and really just focus on rolling these shoulders forward. You can get the ribs and spine involved, but we're not quite swaying side to side anymore. Letting that jaw relax. And let's just come to a, a nice, still focus for just a moment. Tapping into that breathing pattern once again. Hey, too rough. Notice if your face is completely relaxed. Maybe, just maybe, you can invite some joy into your heart. 
find something to just laugh about that makes you feel good. For me, at this moment, I am laughing about my kitten because I love my kitten so much, but he is so feisty and he can be a handful. But he brings me so much joy. So just whatever that is, just bring a smile to your face. And then gently flutter your eyes open. You can wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Be careful if you have a kitten nearby. And let's come up to hands and knees. So the hands, the hands are going to be spread nice and wide, nice and wide fingers. And I want you to just ever so slightly turn your hands out to the side. If you are using a yoga mat, imagine the middle fingers turning to the outside edges of the mat. This allows for rotation in the arms and the shoulders to peel back and let that heart shine forward just a little easier. So let's just sway side to side a little bit, waking up those joints. So I'll come at a, an angle for you. Ah, pressing through the outside edges of the hands. Kitten, hey, hey, it's a little much. And then slowly we'll start to transition into a cat cow. So exhaling, pressing into the ground through the center of the palm, rounding the spine, rounding the chin, the tailbone, maybe swaying side to side. And then inhaling, bend the elbows, start to pull them in towards the ribs as you gently push the heart forward and naturally gently lift the gaze and an arch will form in the spine. No forcing it here. Inhale. Exhale, leaning back, pressing the ground away. Please make this your own. Any little extra movements that might feel good for you. We're going to bring that right foot forward to replace the right hand and slide the left leg back just a little bit so that we comfortably have our knee over our ankle in the front. And we'll inhale up. Really make sure that you're pressing into this foot and that the knee stays over the ankle and that you are aligned as if your legs are on two different tracks. You don't want this single motion here. Place your hands on your hips for just a moment. Feel if they're level. Make sure you're not dumping into one hip. Take a nice big inhale up. Oop. A little bit of a balance challenge. Reaching forward, placing your hands on the ground, setting the hips back, peeling the foot up, flexing the foot as you lean over the knee. Round the spine here. But keep that foot flex to help protect the knee. Exhale, coming forward again. This time we're going to plant the hands, set that foot back, maybe give yourself a little wiggle, one or two rounds of cat-cow. And then place that left foot up where the left hand is. Slide the right foot back ever so slightly. And we're doing the same thing here. Go ahead and sit up. Make sure you've got that alignment with your ankle under the knee. You're adjusting your hips, belly button still in towards the low back to support the low spine. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale.
exhale, leaning forward, bringing the hands to the ground, sitting the hips back, peeling the toes up so we've got a flexed foot leaning over that front knee. Spine can be round. Try not to lean too far forward with your head here though. It's not a flexibility thing. We're just gently relaxing and opening up that hamstring, inhaling forward. Exhaling back. Inhaling forward. And exhaling back. Let's come back to that tabletop position. And from here, we're going to extend our right foot out on the toes. Just pressing back through the heel gently, feeling strong and stable through our shoulders. And then we'll lift up that foot, bring the knee in and out like the fire hydrant and then out again, kind of creating this circular motion with the hip. Trying to keep the leg in line with the body so you're not overextending. And then let's reverse. So you're going out straight, opening up the hip, bringing it into fire hydrant, and bringing it under your leg. Ooh, nice massage in the hip socket there. Let's switch to the other side. Bring that knee under you. Send the left leg back. Stepping back with the foot, pressing into the toes, leaning back through the ball, really stretching out that foot. Helps if you don't have socks on to get a little bit of a better grip on the ground. So we're going to lift that foot off the ground, bring it in towards the chest, open it up, and bring it back, closing the hip. Breathing through it. Staying strong and stable through the core. And then gently reversing it, opening up the hip, fire hydrant leg, bringing it under you. All right, go ahead and bring it down. Shake it out a little, sit back into that child's pose, big toes touch, knees come wide, hands walk forward, forehead comes to the ground. Just allowing yourself to take some nice deep breaths here. Really letting the belly hang loose. giving some love, sending some love to those internal organs. Maybe you want to start rocking side to side just a little bit. This is a space where we hold so much stress. So really just giving it love, giving it a chance to truly relax can make a huge difference. Maybe you want to rock the forehead side to side giving it a little massage. And then we're just gently going to walk the hands over to the right side, eventually leaving that left hand on top of the right for a full side body stretch on the left side. You can even rest your face on your right bicep And then we'll just gently move to the opposite side. So just reaching over, letting the right hand end up on top, and then you can place the face down. It doesn't matter which arm the face gets cradled in. Just notice what works for your body. Find some comfort there and just let yourself relax.
coming back to center. We'll come up to hands and knees again. And then gently pressing ourselves up to plank. And then sitting back into down dog. Setting those hips up nice and high towards the ceiling. Maybe you want to come onto the toes and bend the knees and sit those hips back. Ah, fingering are spread nice and wide, pressing through the peace finger knuckles. Shoulders are in their sockets, feeling nice and strong here. Maybe you want to turn and look under one armpit, look under the other. So many options. Find what works for your body. A little bit of movement. Gently working our way to stillness. See if you can close the eyes. One or two more breaths here. We're gently going to transition forward to that plank again. Nice big inhale. Exhale with the knees. Bringing the elbows in towards the ribs, lowering that chest to the ground and the chin. Inhale as we gently slide forward, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, bending the knees, big toes together, knees come wide, pressing back to our child's pose. Nice big inhale here. And with the exhale, coming back up to plank, and then to down dog. Breathing, enjoying. Inhale, come forward. We're going to exhale down through our chaturanga. Slow, lower all the way to the ground. Then gently lifting into that up dog. Bending the knees, big toes together, knees come wide, gently sitting back into that child's pose. Taking a nice deep breath here, nice relaxing breath. One more nice deep inhale. Full exhale, and we'll gently raise ourselves up. We'll swing those legs around in front of us, and just gently placing our feet on the ground, hugging our knees into our chest. Had to get kitten away from something. So feet on the ground, hugging our knees into our chest. Maybe letting the face rest in the knees. Rocking side to side if it feels good. Then we'll take a nice deep inhale. Rolling the shoulders back, sitting back slightly, nice straight spine. Maybe your feet can hover off the ground a little bit, or maybe you bring the ankles up in line with the knees. Key is to have that straight spine here. One nice deep inhale. Exhale, lean forward, feet come down, and we're rolling down to our backs. <sighs> Rocking side to side. Maybe the head rocks too. Knees in little circles one way and the opposite way. We'll bend the knees, trying to bring the knees to the elbows, flexing the feet, bringing our hands on the insides of the knees but the outsides of the feet to happy baby, pulling the bottoms of the feet to look at the ceiling, rocking side to side, just letting yourself feel good here. Maybe inviting that joy into your heart again. Ah, let 
letting out some nice big sighs. Maybe it feels good to straighten one leg as you have the other pulled in and rocking side to side a couple times like that. Before you switch to the other side. Bringing both feet in, hugging the knees in again, if you can, lifting your face up to the knees and just giving yourself a little squeeze. Mm. We're going to roll those knees over to the right side. Both arms out in front of us, hands on top of each other, and then just very gently opening up that left hand across the sky, letting it come down to the ground beside you, gaze follows. Nice little simple twist here. We're relaxing that jaw again, relaxing the face completely. Just giving our bodies some time to sink into this pose, this relaxation, and letting our breath just open some things up. <sighs> Taking another nice deep inhale. With this exhale, just hugging the knees in a little more, allowing them to come back to center. Now you're on your back, hugging the knees in again. And just trying to get that face towards the knees, giving yourself a little hug, and then we'll just rock to the side. Let both arms come out in front of you. And then gently lifting that right arm up, letting the gaze follow the thumb all the way back. And just relaxing here, just like you did on the other side. Relaxing the face, the jaw, the tongue. Closing the eyes, letting yourself just experience this for a moment and continue breathing. Staying present as much as possible, always coming back to the breath, thanking the mind if it's trying to make you run away with it. That mind is so darn useful, but guess what? So is our body's wisdom, and that's what we're tapping into right now. Hey, it's too hard. Taking a nice deep inhale. And we will gently bring those knees back to center. And just rock side to side again for a moment. Giving yourself another little squeeze. And then gently letting those legs come nice and long. Make sure you have space. Arms come down beside you. Into our spinal savasana pose. Trying to relax as much as possible, especially if you have a little kitten nearby, hoping they don't pounce on you. <laughs> but just really starting to settle in. Taking a couple final nice deep breaths. I like to wiggle the hips just a little bit and feel this gentle ricochet down my legs, down my arms, up my spine. To really just let myself know that I am completely Relax. Finally, let go of the breath. 
So you're not focusing on those big inhales or exhales anymore. You just feel the ground beneath you supporting you. Just basking in this calmness, this collected connectedness. And if you happen to be struggling at all with the mind, then go ahead and use your breath to just keep coming back. If you find that you are resting in this kind of meditative space where the mind has kind of taken the back burner and you're just sitting here, floating here, enjoying this space, that is the goal. But if for some reason you just aren't there yet, there's nothing wrong with you. Just take that nice deep breath a nice slow exhale and just keep coming back to the sound of your breath to help yourself stay focused. We'll very gently start to wiggle the toes, bringing each finger to gently touch the thumb. You can bring the arms up overhead for a nice full body stretch. And then gently just go ahead and Turn on to one side. Oh. Bringing your arm in as a little pillow. Closing the eyes still, just resting here. Thinking on that joy again. Thinking on some gratitude. Really inviting it into your heart. Let it make you feel good. Let it bring a smile to your face. And then very gently and slowly with your eyes still closed, start planting that right hand on the ground, extending that right leg to help press yourself up. Left arm follows, scooting the hips underneath you, bringing that right leg back in. Oh, sorry guys. We will bring our hands to our knees or a little bowl in your lap. Rolling those shoulders back, pressing the crown of the head up. One last time, perfect posture, deep breath. Let's take a nice deep inhale up, sealing in our practice. Exhale the hands down to eyebrow center, our third eye center, pituitary gland. Just a gentle reminder of this inner knowing, this deeper wisdom that resides in the world and within ourselves. You have been through a lot, no doubt, in this life so far. And still you have made it here. You know that you can get through hard times. You are capable of hard things. And you know that you can make it through. Take a deep inhale. Gently moving the fingers to the chin with the exhale, blooming open the fingers, keeping the thumbs and pinkies together, creating a space between the palms. This is the symbol for love and light. I like to cradle side to side here, shining from my heart to yours. Acknowledging the atmosphere, the space, the teachings, the community. As much as I am your teacher today, each and every one of you out there are my teachers as well. 
sharing our love and light, sharing our humbleness, our gratitude for each other, taking a nice deep inhale, gently closing our lotus fingers. And with the exhale, bringing our hands over our own heart, gently bowing that left ear, left temple towards the heart. Feeling our own heart beat, surrendering to ourselves, taking a moment to sincerely thank yourself for showing up today for you. Doesn't matter in what capacity, whether it's a YouTube video or an in-person class, this is your practice and you carved out some time to get to know yourself better. Really take a moment, maybe give yourself a little squeeze to thank yourself for that moment, for these moments. And then gently letting those hands come back down to the knees or the bowl in the lap. Again, relaxing the shoulders, gently pressing the crown of the head towards the ceiling, creating that perfect relaxed posture. My hope for you is that you feel calm and collected and within this calm and collected space, you find the connection to gratitude and to strength, which is your source for health and happiness. At any time during your day, you can use your breath to gently step away and come back to this kind of a state. Go ahead and take a breath now. Nice, deep inhale. Slowly releasing. For when you are in this calm and collected state within yourself, and I am in this calm and collected space within myself, we share the connection. We share this oneness, this unity. And that is where we spark change in the rest of this world. I see the light in you, friends. And I honor that light. Namaste. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you so much for watching this video for taking this time for yourself. I, I always wish in ending a class that we were in person and we can hug and talk and ask questions and converse, but I really hope that you take this with you, minimum for the next five minutes, maybe the rest of your day. Take care.